Well, Heather, when it comes to Governor Andrew Cuomo, it's clear that he's not only lost the support of Democratic leadership, but Democrat voters as well. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo didn't even show up for work Wednesday, choosing to hunker down at home, developing a strategy for his bid to survive politically. State and national politicians, including New York's entire Democratic delegation in Congress, are calling on Cuomo to resign, and more than half of the New York State Assembly wants to impeach him. And the majority of New York voters want Cuomo to go, according to a new Marist poll that shows 50% of New York Democrats want Cuomo to step down, with even more Republicans feeling he should. GOP nominee for New York City Mayor Curtis Sliwa held a protest outside of Cuomo's office, demanding he resign immediately. We have seen him use his bully pulpit, his very prominent bully pulpit, to attack others who have been accused of sexual harassment at the same gradation that he has been accused. All of a sudden, he says, no, you know, don't give in to the cancel culture. And there's more trouble for Cuomo. Top prosecutors in Manhattan, Nassau, and Westchester counties are requesting investigative materials collected from the state attorney general's report. Republican Congressman Lee Zeldin, running for governor of New York, says it shouldn't have to come down to the counties. It's quite unfortunate that uh, this is left in the hands of local law enforcement, but some of these prosecutors, it seems like they may step up. Hopefully they do. And it's clear that Cuomo will have trouble finding support pretty much anywhere from local leaders all the way up to the president of the United States who've called on him to resign. But even if the impeachment process doesn't move forward in the New York State Assembly, he'll still face legal battles because Cuomo's first accuser, Lindsey Boylan, plans on suing him. Bob Heather, back to you. All right, thank you, Logan. And joining us now for more reaction is clerk candidate in Bergen County, New Jersey, Bridget Kelly. Bridget, great to see you again. Uh, what do you think will thank happen you. to Governor Cuomo, if anything? Uh, the, the key point there, and thank you for having me, but the key point there is if anything, right? I think that he's engaged in the um, politics of character assassination, which is unfortunate, um, but that's what bullies do to their victims. And uh, it happened to me in New Jersey. Um, not, it wasn't a sexual situation, but it was definitely uh, an abusive situation. And you always want to, you know, they want to take care of the reputation and destroy the reputation of those accusers. So um, I hope that the New York State Legislature does the right thing and impeaches him and or that he chooses yeah. to do the right thing and steps down. Hmm. Yeah, talking about the reputation of the accusers, according to the New York Attorney General's investigation, a top communications manager at Facebook, Danny Lever, helped uh, Governor Cuomo fight sexual misconduct allegations. She helped leak confidential files, it says, about accuser Lindsey Boylan and participated in regular discussions about Cuomo's communication strategy. What's your response to that report? I, if it's true, and I, I, I wouldn't doubt it just because this is all about a power struggle for, for people in office and, and trying to get the attention of those that are powerful. I'm, I think it's a sin and a shame, and it's unfortunate, and, but it's what powerful people do in order to make their own case. And those, those of us that are weaker than the powerful you know, are left to kind of hang and figure it out ourselves. But fortunately, this report reflected what happened to these women. And it wasn't just one woman, it was 11, which is, which is disgusting. Yeah. But then you have an organization that was founded allegedly to support victims of sexual harassment. Um, time's up. And some of the information that was released show that they were consulted and helped Governor Cuomo as well. What are your thoughts about that? Again, I think, you know, it's just, it comes down to hypocritical support. And how do these, how does any, how does any victim come forward and feel that they have the support of anyone if they can't, you know, go to a group like Time's Up and and have that support group when people are basically, you know, stabbing them in the back. I I I, I pity organiz I pity people that feel that they are going to um, think that they're helping the powerful when they're really hurting the powerless. Mm. Yeah, Bridget, do you think the votes are there to actually uh, get rid of Andrew Cuomo? I'm told that they are unanimously. Um, you know, again, I'm in New Jersey, but this right. is, you know, the scandal of this is the scandal of the week. But I've paid attention to it more so because of my situation in New Jersey and what I went through. 
Um, I, you know, my em I have such empathy for the victims. I think that there has been a there's been silence from some Democrats, but it seems overwhelmingly Democrats and Republicans think that Governor Cuomo has to go. Yeah. And what will it say to possibly other victims not even involved in this if he doesn't face any ramifications? I think it allows the behavior to go on. But unfortunately, it goes on everywhere and not just in government. It goes on on Wall Street. It goes on in marketing. It goes on everywhere. But I give these 11 women such credit for standing up to such a powerful man who clearly had tentacles everywhere and tried to destroy those that accused him. And, and that's on, if he can put his head on the pillow at night, I, I don't know how he does it. All right. Uh, Bridget Kelly, thank you very much for joining us. We'll see what happens. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.